Hello! Today let's make homemade pasta. So, let's start! For the ingredients, we will be using 2 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 tablespoon of natural milk, 2 fresh eggs, then a bowl. We will also be using a rolling pin, our measuring tools, salt, and some olive oil. Now for the procedures. Put two cups of flour in the board and surface you will be using. Now crack the eggs into the bowl with milk, olive oil, and or salt. Careful. Yum. Now for the milk, we will be using one tablespoon. Next is one teaspoon of olive oil. Careful. Nice. Close it. Yeah. Start mixing. Oh, before I forget, sprinkle a little bit of salt or dab it. Mix again. After so, create a well or hole in the center for the mixture. This is where we will be pouring the liquid mixture. Pour the liquid mixture gently in the hole. Remember, if it flows, it's okay. Gently mix the flour and the mixture. For starters, I will be using my spoon to mix the liquid and the flour so that it won't be too messy. But after so, I will use my hands. Make sure your hands are clean. And a few moments later, here's our dough. Make sure it comes back to place when you pinch or tap it. Put it in a cling wrap, and then put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. See you later. I'm back. Okay, time to get the dough. Gently remove the cling wrap, then cut the portion that you will be using. I will use this portion because it will be kind of hard to use all of the dough that I made. Start rolling. If you do not have a rolling pin, flat wine bottles are possible to use. This may take a long time. Patience is the key. Now for a little time lapse. Yum! Okay, one good technique is to roll the flattened dough so that it is easier to cut. Time to cut. Do it carefully. Skip. That's it. Now play with the dough so that it spreads out to become a pasta. Here we go. Now it looks like homemade pasta. The dough should dry. Okay, let's put it in a plate. Can you see my homemade pasta? Here it is. this pasta to make a dish called putanesca with egg covered in parsley. Yum! 
that's all guys thank you bye